welcome. This is a fireside chat with Dave and Bob from I I Ohio, Bob, Dave. Idaho, Idaho, Mississippi, this is <laughs> Texarkana, somewhere. Pawville. Got some letters we're going to go over. I'm going to just kind of chit chat for a little bit. Uh, got some new projects in the wings there, Bob. Yeah. Notice you got some got some new videos up. You can sew. He oh. sews like the wind. You're going to sew, sew like the wind, three amigos. Yep, got a bunch of them. So, but since we haven't had any videos up, y'all been bugging us and asking us all these questions. So figured we'd get some down on paper and <coughs> go over a couple of them. And don't we have some letters here too, Bob? Yeah, some letters, emails, IMs, PMs, texts, whatever you want to call. Them. Information age. Yeah. Information age. All right, so uh, this first one is from Ed in San Diego. He says, Hello, Bob and Dave. We really appreciate the hard work you put into these videos. A quick question, if you would, please. Are Bob and Dave the same person? Telephone number. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, right there. All right, next one here. Uh, hello, Dave from Idaho. I love the Paul videos. Makes you, uh, uh Paul video you make, uh, sorry guys. Paul the videos that you all make, uh, looking for more. Is Bob your alter ego or something? Are you guys the same? Um, actually, we are the same person. <laughs> oh, sorry, that, that, that was for you. <laughs> uh, he really wrote that. Yeah. Alright, on to our another one here. Dave and Bob, I'm writing you from Arkansas. Down here, we love your videos and your sense of humor. I can't help but think through that that Dave and Bob are the same guy. P.S. Get her done. He really wrote that. Yeah, I'm kind of... Listen, <laughs> as you can tell, we're not the same person. Bob, or Dave. Dave. Bob. Bob. Idaho. Idaho. Yeah, it's cold. It's cold here this morning. It's like, what, 22? 23. I don't know. Probably like... The snow just melted. Probably 28 degrees Celsius Fahrenheit or something. Cool. Freaking hot. Yeah. Well, some people just can see, see conspiracies anywhere they go, and they have their foil a little too tight. So when they think that Dave and Bob are the same guys, they think they might need to loosen up the foil just a little bit. It's not very good, ain't it? <laughs> it is. It's a special... Uh, the grays cannot read uh, your mind, dude. There, is that better? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Just an idiot, yeah. you know? I mean, what can you do about that? I don't know. Well, I've noticed lately that, you know, on the boards and some of the emails we've been getting, that people sometimes think that you're getting a little negative. And personally, it's like down in my whole paw buzz and stuff, so... That I'm negative? Yeah. Well, I'm pretty positive about that comment, Dave. Uh, Bob. Bob. Bob, sorry. <coughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. It was. Uh, I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. On an obscure forum. <laughs> on a small forum. Uh, I think overall we're pretty we're pretty easygoing guys, and everybody knows that. Thanks, Tyrone. Diet Coke. What the hell is this? Or was I? Think I, I think overall, uh, Dave, Bob, everybody knows we're pretty easygoing guys. And I don't know where that comment would come from. I mean, if 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 I'm uh, if I'm positive about the fact that somebody trying to survive in a city of three million people is probably going to have very slim chances, I'm sorry about that. Well, I read a book that you can survive, uh, you know, in an urban uh, environment or what, what's the, the catchphrase? Urban situation. Urban situation. That's, situation. That's correct. That's yeah. Correct. As long as you don't lose your iPod <laughs> and your microwave doesn't work. No comment, Bob. Uh, <laughs> of course, recent recent examples in history, Katrina, you know, the folks near, you know, the major cities, uh, New Orleans, Biloxi, things like that, had a lot worse time than folks in rural areas of, you know, Mississippi, Alabama, whatever. Idaho. Idaho. <coughs> and uh, I think that's that's pretty straightforward, that there's an example from recent history. So why people come with these crazy notions that, you know, they're going to band together with, you know, Grandpapa, you know, uh, you know, Smith down the street. It's a World War II vet, which 
God bless him. You know, thank Get you off my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take my pink flamingos and stop skateboarding. What are we going to do about those kids stop skateboarding? Anyway, to try to organize their neighborhood after the fact, I, I think that is a pipe dream. And I'm, I'm pretty positive that that is a pipe dream. When you can't get your neighbors to agree on, on what color mailbox they all have to have for a housing association or... <laughs> That's the Grim Reaper dog. Yeah. He, is, he is death incarnate. We got rid of the cats, by the way. Yes, yes. No, no post-production cats no. were, were harmed in the making of this video. Kitty on the floor and I want to touch it. <laughs> A little flashback from the 90s there for you privacy people. <laughs> Anywho, guys, we're just having fun with it today. This is, of course, a parody. Just wanted to shoot a short video discussing some things. Got some great video projects coming up. Um, stay tuned. Stay tuned for that. Seen on TV. And uh, keep watching. Anything, anything to add there? No, just uh, keep getting ready, folks. Send in the questions like we always tell you. We'll, I mean, give us ideas. We'll do whatever you want. I mean, we have the we have the technology, and you know, we'll do what we can to help you. That's what we're here for. Um, like Dave, Bob, Tyrone, whatever just said is, you know. Now I just can't remember what you just said. I think th I think in closing, everybody feels like it's really close. You know, the stuff's going to hit the fan tomorrow. And that happens a lot with new, with new people just getting into this. And it's it's I would have I would be lying if I said I didn't feel like that in '86 or '87. Uh, but obviously nothing's happened in 23 years, and nothing significant. We're not you know here with nuclear fallout on the ground or you know living under Soviet oppression. We're living under liberal oppression. But uh, so it's a little slower, obviously. Uh, it isn't Red Dawn, it's America scenario. <coughs> but anyway, <here. laughs> enough politics. Because uh, we do have some liberal viewers. We do have a lot of liberal survivalists out there now. Yep, you and know. as long as you guys are getting ready, it doesn't matter what you are, because you're one less person that has to be dependent on the system. Amen. Amen. So, we, we, I'd love to say we love the liberals. We don't. Or at least I don't. I'm speaking for myself here. Dave might love, or Bob might I love everybody. Us. Yeah, he loves everybody. Circle of life. <laughs> Circle of life. Love and life. Exactly. Love life is good. Life is good. Yeah. But, uh, uh, you know, just keep preparing, folks. Don't get overwhelmed with the fact that you feel stuff's going to hit the fan tomorrow. The economy's messed up. Obama's taking your freedoms left and right, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. If you get bogged down in that stuff, guess what? You, you, get, you get the foil on awful tight. And you end up just a conspiracy nut or just a kook instead of somebody who's prepping and, and doing what they need to do. And, and with preparation, consistency is the key. You know, 20, 30 extra dollars a month. I know everybody squeezed now. Slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race. You know, just like the turtle beat the hare. He beat him because he kept plugging away. The, the, the hare ran for a little bit, stopped, went to sleep, whatever. You know, got up, ran for a little bit, stopped, went to sleep forever <coughs> for a while. And, you know, lost the race that way. And, of course, we see a lot of people doing that. We see a lot of people rush, that... Rush, rush, get burned out, and then that's it. And then that's it. Or they get caught up in the dates. Uh, you know, some of these, the you know, uh, won't mention any before. names. You know, some of these scaremongers that used to be just on shortwave, now they're on the Internet and things like that as well, too. Guys that predicted that, you know, America would be nuked by July 4th, 1996. Uh, <clears throat> you know, you get a lot of people freaking out from time to time. Don't worry about that, guys. You know, keep preparing... If you're a believer, read the last chapter. This will tell you what's going to come eventually. You know, just a matter of time of when. Base your preparedness around that or just common sense stuff. So. I'm Bob. And I'm Dave. And, and we're in Idaho. And keep watching our videos and send in the ideas both to uh, Paw Productions on our YouTube channel and to Survival Report so on his YouTube channel. And we'll get it done for you. And... Goodbye.